Ready or not, here I come and ready or not, Sundays is Tesla Sundays. And as usual, I found so many things for this episode and I tried my best to absolutely put it all in one episode. It was super, super difficult, but we made it. And I want you to do your very best to absolutely smash that like button. And therefore, without further ado, let's roll. As every single Sunday here on this channel since many, many months, I am delivering you the very best and the very important information about Tesla for Tesla shareholders, for Tesla fans, for Tesla drivers, for Tesla customers, for everyone, okay? So therefore, let's dive into the content of today's vlog real quick, ludicrous mode. So Tesla stock, we will talk about the fast Gigafactory Germany, it seems it's faster than China even. We will talk about Elon Musk holding his word. We are talking about the solar power roof breakthrough. I'm really not joking, it's a breakthrough. Moreover, we will talk about the Cybertruck factory in Texas, so let's go. Tesla stock guys, who is owning Tesla stock? Let me know in the comments below because the stock just closed with the magical number 1000 this week and the day was a little bit negative on Friday. We started somewhere with 1011 and then literally lost about a percentage point but still could hold the 1000 mark. The overall week was quite positive because we started on the 15th of June with 911 and could gain just this week about 10% almost. What is the next stop for Tesla stock? Well, this depends highly what we can see currently. It seems like Tesla producing one big breaking news after its other. It's so, so incredible to be now with Tesla. And I believe that, you know, with the time we will just see more and more news, like for example, now the Gigafactory, the battery day, all of this are super positive news for the company. And therefore I believe, you know, the only way for Tesla stock is up. When Tesla announced to open a Gigafactory in Germany, we all thought the same, like, is it and can it be so fast like China was? China was built up in a new record time, it's unbelievable how they did that, but actually it seems that Tesla Germany make even a better job to build this factory. Now we have seen that currently the footage that we are seeing on the overall area, they are very much advanced in the building of the fundament. And uh, after the fundament is established, the overall exterior can be built, more and more trailers are being seen on the area. So this is very, very great progress, guys. And moreover, there's actually Tobias Lind who made us a graphic that shows us how fast Germany is compared to China. So on the 8th of May 2018, we had the establishment of the company in Europe, in Germany, it was 15th of November. Then we had the contract signing. Then we had the leveling already faster than in Germany, than in China. Then we had the land transfer faster than, than in China. And now we're doing even the groundbreaking. So as you can see, the steps are faster. Now, I have to comment on this that don't underestimate the building speed of Chinese companies and Chinese governments because these are very, very fast. I can see very much similarities between Middle East as well as Asia or specific China and, and the Middle East because all of them are really building fast. You know, if you're seeing this uh, skyscrapers or the new phase two gigafactory in China, it's like crazy how fast they move on on those. And therefore I believe that maybe they are more 
into that building fast, faster than Germany. But we shall see. Currently, it seems that Germany is really, really fast building this thing. And uh, in July, we might see already the first Teslas rolling out of the Giga factory Berlin. When Elon Musk gives you his word or he says something, most probably the chances are very, very high that he does this also. Okay, so that's why he's now offloading his property in Bel Air. Huge house, guys. Unbelievable. He bought it 2012 for 17 million dollars. What a bargain and sold it for 29 just now. And he sold it to William Ding, another tech billionaire. However, we know that he want to be less attackable through people who say, you know, you have all this sustainable vision, you have all this uh, interplanetary vision, but you are still a billionaire, have all these possessions and so on. So he actually disclosed on Joe Rogan podcast that he want to be free of that. And then since then, he's really, really doing this, right? Directly after that, he basically posted all his properties out there to sell. And over a couple of weeks now, now it seems that some of them are being sold. So he want to be 100% focused. And if you are investing in a company, you want that such a guy manages your money and such a guy is really, you know, so determined and so passionate about the thing that you know he don't want to have any of this position this is absolutely insane guys this is great this is why we love Elon Musk even sometimes he's crazy but he most of the time surprise us very very positively and this is you know this is Elon Musk if you haven't done yet make sure to read his book it's absolutely a must for all the Tesla fans and Tesla investors it's a New York Times bestseller by Ashley Vance so make sure it's really loaded with so many things that you should know and uh, let's jump to the next topic So we know that solar power is the future. For a sustainable future, we need Tesla to ramp up this solar business. Now we know that they are doing the very best. It was a little bit in the shadow of the production of the Model 3. However, it seems now they are really picking up. And for solar to be really successful, it's all about the, in my personal opinion, the product quality, the price, the conditions or the easiness for customers to switch to solar roofs and obviously also the design right now on the design and the product, the design we know it's unbelievable. The product improvements, it's just now released that it seems uh, much better than the previous product that we will talk in a second. But the price, guys, the price just got slashed to an unbelievable number. Let's have a look. So. I will just give you a small glimpse how prices changed. For example, in California, if you are going for the solar panel pricing, a medium 8.16 kilowatt solar panel or solar roof will cost you somewhere around $16,000 or $11,840 after incentives. Now, this was before $19,500 and after incentives and federal tax credit was 14,430. So from 14,000 to 11,000, from 19,500 to 16,000. This is unbelievable, guys. This is the right step that we need to do with these prices. So you can see the prices somewhere in general slashed by 20%. And also the product got improved. The new solar panels are actually 10% more powerful as per the sources. So we can see a very bright solar power roof future for Tesla investors. And this will be the start of really the breakthrough because we have seen and this is normal economics guys if you see a product gets cheaper and cheaper but better and better more people gets approached and say you know why not invest in a tesla solar roof so it looks nice it is cheap it is easy to install or let it stall there's subscription models out there it's getting cheaper and cheaper so there's so many beautiful attributes and features of this product that i can't 
feel how this cannot scale over the next couple of years. As you might remember, Elon Musk said, you know, at one point he want to reach the production of thousand roofs per week. And we hope that this can be achieved very, very soon. Our colleagues from Electric actually broke the news that Tesla just purchased a very big land for its next Gigafactory or Terra Factory. We don't know, right? In Texas, Austin, and uh, we are seeing that not only that they are choosing the land, that they will start to build soon, but also they are getting lots and lots of incentives by the state. So first of all, they asking for $60 million incentives. You know, this is, I believe in terms of, hey, we build this factory, this will create jobs, this will create infrastructure, this will increase property prices around because people want to live in these areas. So there's so much benefit with Tesla comes to your neighborhood. And I believe that this is also not the very minimum that they can ask for. They actually ask also for $68 million of tax credits. This is the beauty about if you are in the power as a brand new company to grow, you can really hope on very, very great deals. And this is the beauty about it. When you come to Germany, they got a super nice deal. They got to China where they got super interesting financing options by banks in China that usually give these conditions only out to very, very long-term customers. So all in all, it's very interesting. It's on one hand a win situation because Tesla is growing so fast and on the other side, it's like, yeah, we are doing this and even almost make money on this, right? So I really appreciate this. It seems like they are open every year, a new Tesla factory. This is absolutely mind-blowing.